in this video we are going to discuss about current equation of uh, n channel enhancement mosfet so the question is uh, this is a previous year nist question so describe the equation for source to drain current in three regions of operation of a mosfet transistor and draw a va characteristics va means voltage and current characteristics so uh, let me take uh, here uh, at n channel n mosfet okay n mosfet uh, that is of type enhancement type okay enhancement type so here uh, the three region of operation is one is uh, uh, the three regions of operations are a uh, cut off region and a uh, linear region and the saturation region so they uh, they are asking about uh, what is the value of uh, ids okay ids is uh, nothing but uh, source to drain current okay for this three operation and i have to draw um, vcar6 so for that one um, i'm going to consider a long channel model that is a shockley model uh, here the the channel length that is uh, the channel length between the source and drain is large and the lateral electric field is low that is between uh, drain and source this is a condition okay so it is assume that uh, the current uh, through an off transistor is zero okay generally the current through the off uh, transistor is zero that is when uh, it, when the transistor is on that is uh, when vgs is greater than uh, the threshold voltage vt represent uh, threshold voltage okay when now the input vgs uh, here represent vgs is my input okay and vgs is greater than vt uh, the gate will attract uh, the carrier that is the electron uh, to form the channel okay the the electrons uh, drift from source to drain at a rate proportional to the electric field between this region so thus uh, we can compute uh, current if we know the amount of charge in the channel and uh, the rate at which uh, it moves so uh we know that the charge on each plate of a capacitor that is q is equal to cv okay so that uh, that's the charge in the uh, channel i can write uh, write it as qc qc means q channel okay that is equal to cg cg means it is a gate capacitance okay into vgc minus vt so i am uh, going to apply uh, the voltage between um, gate and the channel right so i can write uh, vgc minus vt because only after uh, uh, when the vgc value should be greater than uh, vt right then only it will conduct therefore i am writing vgc minus vt okay so here uh, cg is a uh, capacitance of the gate to the channel and um, vgc minus vt is the amount of voltage attracting the channel to the channel beyond the minimum required to invert from p to m okay so in order to convert this uh, so this is a, this is my uh, this is n type and this is n type this is p type so in order to convert this p type into n region n n channel uh, and you need to apply the voltage that is vgc minus v okay so the gate voltage is reference to the channel which is not grounded so if the source is at v uh, source is at uh, vs and the drain is at vd okay so the average a value that is vc i can write it as uh, it is between the source and drain so i can write uh, vc is equal to vs plus vd by 2 okay so what is vgc vgc is the mean difference between the gate and channel potential so i can write vgc is equal to vg minus vc so i'm going to add and subtract plus vc plus vs minus vs okay 
and the instead of VC, I'm going to substitute VS plus VD divided by 2. So if I do, I can write um, this uh, VG minus VS, VG minus VS, I can write it as VGS, okay, VGS plus VS minus VS divided by 2 minus VD divided by 2, okay. So if I solve this equation, I will get VGS plus VS by 2 minus VD divided by 2. VS minus VD, I can write it as VST, okay, here, VGS plus VST divided by 2. So if I, um, I can also write it as, that this is equal to VGS minus VDS divided by 2. Okay. So we can um, uh, model the gate as a parallel plate capacitor with the capacitance which is proportional to the area of thickness. Uh, uh, if the gate length, uh, if the gate has a length L and uh, width W and it has an oxide, uh, oxide thickness as T ox, okay. So what I'm going to do instead of VG uh, C, I'm going to substitute this equation. So, so this is your first equation and this is your uh, second equation, okay. So substituting um, 1 in 2, yeah. So again, I will get, uh, uh, sorry, 2 in 1. Substitute 2 in 1, you will get Q. QC is equal to CG. Instead of VGC, I am going to substitute to VGS minus VDS divided by 2 minus C. Okay. Next. Uh, CG, I can write it as CG is equal to gate capacitance is equal to CRX WL. Okay. So WL is width into length. That is nothing but area. Okay. C ox I can write it as epsilon x divided by T ox. Yep. So that is equal to 3.9 uh, epsilon divided by uh, T ox. Okay. Where epsilon value is equal to 8.85 into 10 power minus 14 farad per centimeter. So I am going to substitute uh, instead of CG I am going to substitute C ox WL VGC minus VT minus VDC divided by 2. So this is your third equation and this is your fourth equation. So I am going to substitute um, fourth equation in third. So you will get this. Okay. So we know that uh, the current between the source and drain is nothing but the total amount of charge in the channel divided by time divided by the time required to cross. Okay. So I can write I is equal to Q by T. Okay, so you substitute this um, fifth equation in the uh, in this equation. Okay, so you will get uh, sixth equation as uh, C ox W L V G C minus V T minus V D C divided by two divided by T. Okay, each carry in the channel is get isolated by isolated to an average velocity V. Okay, this is not, this is small v. Okay, so velocity usually represent in small v, where capital V represent voltage. Okay, so this average velocity is proportional to e, that is lateral and electric field. Okay, that is the field between the source and drain. So I can write uh, v as equal to mu into e, where mu mu of n that is equal to um, the value is around uh, 500 to 700 meter square by volt second, volt into second. Okay. So we know that the electric field, electric field I can write it as uh, VDS divided by L, that is V by L, okay. So um, what I am going to do? Here uh, you can see uh, from the, uh, this is your uh, seventh equation. So from seventh equation, I can write E is equal to uh, velocity divided by mu. Okay. So I can write VDS by L is equal to velocity by mobility. Okay. Next step. So I can write, uh, if I bring this mobility here, 
OBT into VDS divided by L is equal to velocity. So, how to write velocity? Velocity is nothing but uh, distance by time. Okay. Velocity is nothing but distance by time. Here, the distance is length. So, length divided by time. Okay. So, from this, I can write T is equal to L square, L square mu VDS. Okay. So, this is your... Um, Eighth equation. Okay. So you can substitute this uh, t value. Okay. Substitute this um, eighth equation in sixth equation. So instead of t value, you have to substitute here. So you take this one and uh, you substitute it in sixth equation. So, T value is in the denominator, so you will get L square mu VDS. Okay. That's the Q value is same. Okay. So, now I am uh, uh, bringing this, I am uh, I'm, I'm going to take um, mu N, sorry, this is mu, uh, since uh, mu into C ox uh, W by L, okay, this L L get cancelled out, so you will get uh, C ox W by L into mu, so VDS uh, it will go goes inside. Okay, so you will get this. So here, um, I'm going to take uh, beta M is equal to mu C ox mu C ox W by L. Okay, so this is your uh, beta M. Okay, so this is a condition for um, a linear region. Okay. Current, uh, current equation uh, during uh, the uh, linear region. That is uh, when VGS should be greater than VT and um, uh, VDS is less than uh, VGS minus VT. Okay. So, what is VGS minus VT? It is called as overdrive voltage or effective voltage. Okay. So, when uh, VGS, uh, when um, from this, um, so this is your uh, ninth equation. Okay, so you know, going to substitute uh, when uh, what happens when VDS is greater than or equal to VGS minus V. So if I substitute uh, this uh, tenth equation, okay, that is v VDS is greater than uh, okay. instead of greater than, I am going to substitute VDS is equal to VGS minus V T. Uh, this is your tenth equation in the ninth equation, okay. 10 in 9. So, if we substitute VDS is equal to VGS minus VT, I will get um, ID, ID is equal to beta N into VGS minus VT the whole square minus VGS minus VT the whole square divided by 2. So, if I solve, I will get IDS of N is equal to beta N VGS minus VT the whole square divided by 2. So, this is a condition where uh, when VGS is uh, greater than VT and VDS is uh, greater than or equal to VGS minus V. So, this region is called as saturation region. Okay. So, what happens uh, when um, uh, when VGS is uh, less than V? When VGS is less than VT, my IDS of N uh, is equal to 0 because there is no channel get formed. So, therefore, IDS value is 0. So, this region is called as uh, Cut-off feature. So I have formulated the equation for um, for uh, current equation for three region. So first one is a cut-off region that is zero when VGS is less than VT, and the second one is um, in this one. Okay, this ninth equation. IDS uh, IDS of M. Okay, IDS of M is uh, beta N VGS minus VT into VDS minus VDS square divided by 2 for this uh, values. Okay. So, this is nothing but linear region and uh, it is 11th equation that is IDS, is, so IDS of M is equal to beta N VGS minus VT the whole square divided by 2. This is for uh, saturation. So, let us discuss uh, some of the disadvantage of MOSFET. 
So since the MOSFET is having a thin oxide uh, layer, it will make it uh, vulnerable and uh, to damage when induced by the uh, electrostatic charges. And uh, it is not stable when high voltages are used. And then uh, next one is advantages of MOSFET. So if you compare to the JFET, uh, MOSFET is having very high input impedance and uh, high speed of operation and it is very simple to manufacture and it has a uh, high packaging density and um, second uh, the last one is uh, the efficiency provided by the MOSFET is higher when compared at when operating at uh, low voltage okay so let us discuss um, um, N channel that is N MOS uh, N MOSFET uh, enhancement type uh, VA cards so we know that uh, the IED values uh, it is measured in terms of microamps and uh, VDS. Uh, so this is nothing but VA characteristics, okay? VA characteristics, so that is voltage and current. So I already told you when VGS value is less than VT, okay? It is in the cutoff region. So this, uh, this region represents a cutoff region. So whenever the VGS value is uh, increasing, the IED value also start to increase. So uh, this region, so this region is called as linear region. Okay. And uh, whenever the VDS value, that is uh, suppose th if this is VDS, uh, so so the VDS value is uh, equal to VDS value is equal to VGS minus VT. So if you see this here, uh, the VGS value is 0 0.6 uh, minus uh, the threshold voltage. So if it reaches the, this point, it gets saturation. Okay. So so this point is nothing but saturation. Okay. I have. So this uh, the third quadrant graph is for PSOS. 